I was going to begin by asking everybody to turn off their cell phone, but instead, I'm going to start with a question. What is a smartphone? Yoo-hoo. Somebody awake out there? Ah, OK. Well, it's a simple question. Start with a cell phone, add a computer, and there you have it, a smartphone. Well, if it's so easy, why did it take so long to get here? What were we missing? Well, first, we needed fast mobile communications. Until the 1890s, the options were pretty limited. Then Marconi invented radio. Its application for mobile communications was immediate. World War I came along and further advances. And then by the 1920s, we had our first car phones. <laughs> World War II brought more advances, but the results were still pretty clunky. We needed miniaturization. Then 1947, the transistor was invented. That's the first transistor on the right and the inventors on the left. I've always wondered what these guys were thinking. Did they imagine that they were creating the huge microelectronics industry that we have today? Well, we all know how the story goes from here. Generation after generation of smarter and smarter cell phones. I have a desk drawer full of them. You probably do too. Displays, keyboards, color graphics, cameras, and more coming at a faster and faster pace, frustrating obsolescence. Well, here's the inside of an iPhone. It has more computing power than my desktop computer had 10 years ago. And it's not just computing and communication. It has a GPS receiver for location, and it has a sensor for detecting motion. And I do not recommend trying to take your smartphone apart. But it's not just about technology. What is it that people really want? What are the features that make a, a, a phone successful? I wish I had a crystal ball. There have been a lot of false starts and dead ends along the way. I'll give you a few examples. I can remember that AT&T tried introducing the picture phone time after time, and it never went anywhere. In the 1990s, Apple launched the Newton, and it just about killed the company. There have been a large variety of handheld devices. I have a bunch of these in my desk drawers as well but some ideas were just ahead of their time. But out of all this chaos emerged the first two smartphones. That's the IBM Simon on the left and the Nokia 9000 on the right. You may have seen that in a 1998 film, The Saint, starring Val Kilmer uh, as a James Bond-like character. It was great product placement. But it's more than about phones. Other things happened along the way. The internet, the World Wide Web, and web browsers search engines so we could find things, social media, and we became active participants, and content, audio, and video downloads, and streaming. And then came wireless, fast, <laughs> ubiquitous, and reliable wireless. Wave after wave of technology with mind-numbing acronyms. Now, there are some dead spots, like around my house in Highlight Foothills, and the road up to Bridger Bowl, but general coverage is pretty good now. So here we are today with a bewildering number of choices. There are now about 7 billion cell phones in the world today, almost as many cell phones as there are people. And more people have cell phones than flush toilets. <laughs> but it's not just about phones. An entire ecosystem has developed around these. There's content providers, software writers, network operators, phone makers, and of course, the users. And then the boundaries are blurring. Users create content. Content providers provide software and make phones. But fortunately, the options are beginning to narrow. There are now two main operating systems, the Apple, iOS, and the Android. And the good news is that they have open interfaces, so third parties can write software for them. We're no longer captive to the software that was provided by the companies that built our cell phones. So how do we decide what's the best smartphone to use? Well, there's a lot of ideas out there. And fortunately, you don't have to be a techie to be able to take advantage of them. There's lots of good reviews in the public media. And Consumer Reports provides a lot of reports and reviews and even lab tests of the latest versions of smartphones. Now, the real genius of smartphones is in the applications, the apps. 
There are literally millions of them out there today. Some of them come from big companies, others are created by hobbyists. Many of them are free, or you can purchase them for a few dollars or less. You can easily download them and install them in your smartphones. Now, how do you get apps? Well, fortunately, there's a huge online marketplace and the long tail of the internet effect. For some people, it, some people just download the most popular ones, but others, there are, smart, there are applications way out there in the long tail. With a search engine, you can find even the most obscure application. So here are a few examples from my smartphone. That's the Bozeman Chronicle, great for keeping track of what's going on around town. Or this gardening app for keeping track and planning my garden. And here's a real niche application, the Jewish calendar. I suspect that Rabbi Ed and I are the only two people here tonight that use this one. <laughs> so what's next? Wearable computers, heads-up displays, implants. I have a Fitbit that tracks my daily activity and links to my, wirelessly to my smartphone. Predicting the predictions are hard, as Yogi Berra said, particularly if they're about the future. <laughs> so here's a few best practices for using a smartphone. Lock your phone. Use a password. Your whole life history is probably on your phone. Charge your phone frequently. I'm not a power user, but my battery wears out in about a day. Use Wi-Fi wherever you can. It's a lot cheaper than, and faster than cellular. So it would be remiss if I didn't end without mentioning safety. There's been a lot of discussion about biological effects of smartphones, but for sure, the real hazard is distraction. If you're talking or texting, don't drive. Pull your car over. Get off your bicycle for your safety and for mine. Thank you. <laughs>